Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, what does a dot class file contains? Let me answer this question with practical demonstration. So what does a dot class file contains? It contains bytecode. When you compile a dot Java file containing the Java code, it will result in a dot class file. And that dot class file contains the byte code. Who will understand this byte code? JVM can understand the byte code. Okay. So generally in dot Java file, the actual source code of Java, that is actual code of Java, which is written in plain English using the Java keywords will be there. It will be in plain English only. But once you compile this dot Java file containing the Java code, then a dot class file will be created. If you open the dot dot class file, in the dot class file, you will contain the byte code. You will not be able to understand what exactly the, uh, it's not in English or it's not in such, some kind of random symbols will come and all in the byte code. I'll show you practically how does it look like in the dot class file, okay? So let me practically demonstrate this for you. For that, I'll go to one location in my machine where I have this dot Java file, okay? I created a dot Java file containing the source code. Okay, actual code of the Java, which is written in, you see this code is in English language, right? English using the Java keywords and all those stuff. Now, if I compile, if I compile this dot Java file, then we are going to get how to compile, open the command prompt at this location where demo dot or whatever the file name dot Java file is available. You see in the sample programs folder here at this location, we have demo dot Java file containing the Java source code, which is written in plain English using the Java keywords. Now, if I compile it, Java C, and if I say demo dot Java, okay, the moment I press enter here, the moment I run this uh, command here in the command prompt, it will compile the source code, which is there, Java source code, which is there in the dot Java file, and it will create one more file known as dot class file. Press enter, it will compile and it will create demo dot dot class file. Okay. The same name, Java file name, it's given here dot class. But the question here is, what does this file contains? What is there inside that dot class file? What is there inside this dot class file? Let me show you. It contains byte code. The answer is what? It contains byte code. How does this byte code looks like? Let me show you practically right click. Then uh, open with some notepad, just select notepad and you'll get the code. Okay. What is there? Can you understand it? Is it in plain English? Some portions are there, but it's not completely in plain English, right? Some symbols are coming. You see some, some kind of things are coming. This is what is byte code looks like. Okay. So dot class file contains what? It contains byte code. Who will understand that byte code? Can we understand? Do we understand this byte code? What is there in this byte code? No, we cannot understand what is there in this byte code, but who can understand JVM? JVM stands for Java virtual machine that can understand that can understand interpret and run this code okay so who will understand jvm will understand so what will be there in the dot class file which is coming as a result of uh, compiling a dot java file okay uh, byte code will be there in the dot class file okay so hope guys you got the answer for this question so that's all for this session thank you bye bye